So prior to the procedure, make sure to perform the hand hygiene to prevent the spread of microorganisms. So good morning, ma'am. I am Shine and I'm your nurse for today. Can you state your name, ma'am? I am Rosha P. Isarita. Your birth date? Um, my birth date is November 29, 2002. Okay, so what we're going to do today, ma'am, is that I'm going to take your vital signs. Is that okay with you? Yes, it is okay with me. So first, we're going to take your body temperature. So I'm going to get the thermometer, digital thermometer. So prior to doing the procedure, we must first um, disinfect it. So I'm going to insert the digital thermometer on her armpit. So first, I'm going to roll up her sleeves. And insert it. And wait for the digital thermometer to be. So I'm going to take now the digital thermometer since it's beeping already and record its reading. Before putting the digital thermometer back in its case, make sure to disinfect it to make sure that it is not contaminated. So the next thing we're going to do, ma'am, is I'm going to take your pulse rate. Would that be okay, ma'am? Yes, it is okay. okay. So I'm going to place my first three fingers on her radial artery to locate her pulse. Start counting for 30 seconds and count the beats also. It's just 30 seconds since the patient has a regular heartbeat and I'm just going to multiply it by 2 to find out the final pulse rate. Assume the same position in taking pulse rate but note the rise and fall of the client's chest with each inspiration and expiration without patient's awareness. Count the number of respirations for one full minute. So the next thing we're going to do ma'am is I'm going to take your blood pressure. Would that be okay with you, ma'am? Yes. So I'm going to roll up your sleeves, ma'am, for the cough. Send your arm with your palm facing upward. And just relax, ma'am. So I'm going to place the cuff one to two inches above the inner aspects of the elbow with bladder over the branchial artery. So I'm going to palpate the brachial artery or radial pulse by pressing gently with my fingertips. Next, tighten the screw valve on the air pump and inflate the cuff while continuing to palpate the artery. Note the point on the gauge where the pulse disappears. Deflate the cuff and wait for 15 seconds. Next, place the stethoscope ear pieces in the ears properly. Then, position the diaphragm of the stethoscope firmly but with as little pressure as possible over the artery where the pulse is felt. Don't allow the stethoscope to touch clothing or the cuff. 
pump the pressure 30 mm of mercury above the point at which the pulse disappeared. Take note the point on the gauge of the first sound or the systolic pressure and also for the last sound. Make sure to read the pressure to the closest even number. After that, release air entirely from the cuff and remove the cuff from patient arm. After the procedure, don't forget to perform the hand hygiene. Lastly, record the readings of each vital sign procedure and indicate the time.